Now at five, Norwich residents have a big vote ahead of them tomorrow. They'll help decide how fires are fought in the Rose City. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains the controversy surrounding this new plan. They've helped our family and different crises. George Grossmanidi's lawn has a new addition to it, a vote no sign. He's hoping Wednesday's citywide vote on the new automatic fire aid ordinance is shot down. It's important to um, not force something on uh, the volunteers unless they're happy with it. As it stands now, the paid Norwich Fire Department and the volunteer departments of East Great Plain, Laurel Hall, Occam, Taft, Phil, and Yantic have an automatic aid agreement. For instance, if a home is completely engulfed in Occam's district, then the Occam Volunteer Fire Department will respond, plus a truck from the city of Norwich. That's dictated by run cards like these, which explain what the response will be in a given situation. Ordinance says the city manager will decide how, how to do things, when in reality the fire chiefs have been the one deciding it, and that's the way that it needs to stay. Scott Eggert is the volunteer chief in Occam. If it goes yes, then that just means that the fire chiefs won't have the full decision making capabilities that we do now. If this ordinance is defeated on Wednesday, we will be back to the, the handshake agreement, which can be walked away from at any time. Joe DeLucia is the city council president. He wrote the ordinance after a 2021 review of the city's fire response by a third party consulting group. I have pushed for this to be an ordinance because then there is no walking away. City council already passed the ordinance four to three along party lines. Now it's up to residents to decide Wednesday if it stays. It's for the common good that we uh, discuss it and them come to an agreement uh, between the two parties. In Norwich, Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.